project enchilada. While it may sound like something to do with Mexican food, it is actually the master plan adopted by the city of Las Vegas back in 2016. And it aims to bring redevelopment to the Fremont East area. And one of the projects involves the Safari Motel. That's where 8 News Now reporter Sally Jaramillo is live to tell us about this transformation. Brian and Kirsten, the Safari Motel was built back in 1956. It's now looking to be converted into a 21 unit apartment complex. It had a lot of bad reputation when it was open. So now it's just vacant and it's just sitting here on an empty lot, just nobody uses it. Samaja Bursi has lived in Las Vegas since 2002. He says he walks Fremont Street almost every day and change has been on the rise. Fremont definitely had a lot of bad reputations in the city, slowly but surely coming along, fixing it apart. Recently, the Las Vegas City Council approved an agreement granting Santa Monica based realtor and Safari Motel owner Mary Mashadi up to $96,000 in financial assistance for the project from the redevelopment agency. She purchased the property in May of 2019, and now Las Vegas LLC in Beverly Hills will convert the Safari Motel into modern style apartments. I think what the city is going to do is awesome. Like, honestly, I do. And there are nicer apartments, nicer, cleaner businesses. All of that will bring money back to the area, which we need. In a statement, Mayor Carolyn Goodman says, quote, This is a property that has been a problem over the years, and we're excited about the prospect of it being redeveloped. We have had such a success with the Fremont East Entertainment District, and now we are seeing that success expanding further to the east, unquote. Some improvements to the property, new flooring, new roof, appliances, plumbing system upgrades, as well as new landscaping. The historic neon sign will also be renovated. Now, we reached out to the developers, and they say, quote, everyone wants to see East Fremont cleaned up. The Safari Motel has had a bad reputation for years. Once the property is cleaned up and tenanted up with young working professionals, the neighborhood will begin to change, and other property owners will want to renovate as well, unquote. Now, the project is expected to be completed in spring of 2020. Reporting live, Sally Jaramillo, 8 News Now.